I was like, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the It's amazing to be back in Tunis and uh, in amongst friends and with the best of music. And what could be better? Yeah, I see little changes along the way and uh, lovely changes and attention to detail. And I see the energy and the creativity that goes into making a festival like this happen and it's beautiful to see um, but in amongst all the new I still feel the core of the festival which has gone back all these years and uh, that that heart of the early festival still beats I think just as strong now today as it did at the start. Handmade music I suppose for me it represents something that comes from the heart, something that you craft, that means something to you, that you spend time on. Um, and I guess from our own tradition, from the Gaelic tradition in Scotland, that's something that has been crafted and cared for and passed on through many, many hands over the generations. And the songs that we have today have been given to us by the singers and the, you know who went before and they've, they've taken care of them and, and passed them on. But I see new music here as well that has been crafted and, and cared for, and it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a great melting pot of exciting and meaningful music. For me, Scottish Gaelic culture is, it has an honesty about it. These songs were written for, you know, in response to love and loss, politics and war, hardship, and you know, they, they represent in some ways a time that has gone and has passed, but the, the messages in these folk songs, they're still as valid and as relevant today as they ever were. And apart from that, the melodies are, to, to my ear, they're, they're magical, and they, they're, they're ancient and yet they're new, um, and I love, I just love singing them. They, they, they mean so much. And I think in a festival like this, um, it's amazing how everything blends in together. So you have Scottish Gaelic singing and then you have singer-songwriters and music from, I don't know, from Quebec or from Denmark and from, from Ireland, from England. And it, it's, the, the music is, um, it just it all seems to blend together. And it's such, it's just so much fun walking around the festival site and seeing you know, one, one stage to the next. It's just, it's amazing. When I started performing music, I, I always sang in Gaelic. And it wasn't really a conscious decision. These were just the songs that were in my head and in my heart when I started, and that's what came out. But after having recorded a few albums, people started making uh, the point that I, I wasn't singing in English, and then it became a thing that I didn't sing in English. But um, I never really found the right songs to connect with at the beginning. And uh, as time has gone on, that has changed. And um, I, I do enjoy singing in English, but it, it has taken me time to, to find my singing voice in English, to try and work out who I am singing in English. And uh, that's been a slower journey, but um, an enjoyable one nonetheless. We're going to sing for you a song called Smiara Chlantol, which means the, the mavis, the thrush, the singing bird of the clan MacDonald. And uh, it's a song that goes back to um, the 1700s, the early 1700s. In, and it comes from the island where um, I was raised and where my mother comes from, in North Uist, in the Hebrides. And uh, it's a, a quite a powerful song, and it's a, a song which pays tribute to the clan MacDonald. <laughs> I'm 